Hello everyone, I'm Peter Gasolioni and I thought of painting something that is very very calming today. Um, so we'll be painting a watercolor and we'll be painting a scenery. So I just feel a bit frustrated lately. So I thought, you know, that uh, it's very, very calming to paint nature uh, as most of you will find. So yes, I thought we will try it out. So uh, I picked a small, a small scale. So I had this uh, paper. Um, so I thought I would paint small scale. And yeah, so I haven't really, I planned it out a little bit, to be honest. I always like to plan out my paintings first. Even if I am painting, you know, something that is a little abstract, I always like to plan where my shapes are going to be. But we don't really have to. That's why I said it's calming because we don't really have a plan exactly. So yeah, I'm just going to flip my camera around and I'm just going to show you uh, more and let's start painting. Awesome. So let's flip the camera. Okay, cool. Okay, so like I said, today we're like painting small. Well, usually I like to paint on small scales when I'm painting with watercolors. Either way, so. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I just taped my paper with a little bit of tape. Um, so it won't move around as much. Okay, just, just a moment. I need to get some clean water. Always make sure to have some clean water when you're painting with watercolors. So yeah, that's, that's really important. So now we have clean water, that's great. And let's color our palettes. Okay, so I guess I'll be using Serrano. And maybe some of the new ones as well. Um, yeah, I'll be using the, the classical one uh, because it has like this lamp black that I'll be, I'll be needing. So those are the new travel palettes from Zenora Supplies. I really, really like this one. So look. Okay. So yes, we have some nice blue, some earth tones, some nice yellows. We have a white. And this lump black. Okay, so these are like professional pads, uh, but they're also uh, travel size, so um, you can carry with you whenever you go. Cool. All right. Okay, I'm just looking for um for a palette. Looking for a palette. Okay, um, we got it. I also use like this metallic areas as mixing palettes. 
All right, so, so, so. All right, I think I'll be getting the 11 round brush from the Turner set. And here I'll be mixing some colors for the sky. All right, so I'm just getting a little bit of yellow ochre. Right here, just getting um first layer with a lot of water because we want to get this nice watercolor effect. Yeah. No. Okay. So I'm using some of this really nice purples from the Serena palette. Okay, we get some nice purple skies. Okay. Like I said, I mean, it's, we don't really want to put that much, you know, thought into it. Okay. I think it looks good. And now let's mix some colors for our mountains. So I'm just mixing a few shades. From the classic palette here. Uh, I'm mixing a couple of blues and a little bit of this lamp black. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting there more with some marine blue and color blue and ultra marine violet. Okay. That must be it. Yeah, that's, that's the seed. Okay, and this is a lump black. Oh, this is really beautiful. The ultramarine violet. It's this one. And it's a little bit purplish, and I really love it. It's perfect for the mountains. Exactly what we need. So as you can see, I'm doing the washes with a really big round brush today. It's because we don't really care that much about, you know, tiny details. We don't really mind if the paint blades a little bit with the background, with the sky paint. Uh, because if it does, it will look interesting, so we don't really mind. This is a sort of, you know, abstract landscape you know it's not that detailed or realistic because like I said we're doing it uh, in order you know to to relax you know when you don't really want to think much you just want to to do something and create so when you want to do that you don't really want to fuss about details well, for me, in order to work on details, I need to be, I don't know, in a good mood. I need to be very, um, you know, very focused, very zen, very, um, very relaxed. I'm not at the moment. I'm a bit, I don't know, not stressed exactly, but no, not in a great shape to do fine details, I suppose. It's fine. But you know, painting and creating something always is relaxing. So that is that. Okay, so I'm just using a little bit of this white. Here are our mountain to create, you know, a little bit of a blurred effect sort of thing, you know. Uh, what I really like about 
uh, this palette and this white is that, as you can see, it's kind of a pack. I mean, um, as you might have seen me other times when I'm painting, I usually use uh, gouache. I use some white gouache for to lighten my color sometimes and, you know, for some highlights and such. Uh, but yeah, this, this white, what color is it's really good. I mean, it's pretty opaque, so, so it really does, does the job perfectly. Same as if I were using the, the white gouache. I think it looks nice so far, so yeah. Let's add more colors, a little more, more stuff there going on. So yeah, let's mix some of our greens and yeah, let's add some green. Okay, so let's add some thin washes for first and and see how this shapes looks if we need to to change something. Okay, it looks fine. Good. Okay, let's add more here. So like I said, today we do some heavy washes because we don't really, we're not painting detail, which is fine. We're looking for this nice watercolor effect. Uh, so yes, when you're painting fine detail, it's good not to to have too much water on your brush. But since we're not painting fine detail today, and we're doing more of an abstract landscape, uh, yeah, we can have more more washes, more 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 water on the brush. That's amazing. Nice. So here will be our lake, but you know there's some some small pieces of flans there. Beautiful. You know, I don't really um, paint landscapes that often, but I think I'll be doing this uh, from now on whenever I'm a little bit frustrated, angry, I don't know. <laughs> it has like this uh, calming effect. Nice. Yeah, kind of like it. Yeah, you guys tried it out. Cool. Oh, hello there. How are you? Who is new? Okay. So I don't know if for the whole video I'll be using this brush. But so far, I really like it. I haven't used this brush that much. But since we're doing like this heavy washes today, I mean it really works perfectly. Okay. So we're doing the watercolor effect. Okay. 
I mean, when I'm painting portraits, I don't really look for these watercolor effects as much, but when you're painting landscapes, I think it looks really, really good. Okay, so we're adding a few of this, few layers of this dark green, just to give a little texture. And yeah, we're also going to add some, some trees here. So we're also So yeah, we will be uh, changing a brush. Oh, I am. Um, I'm fine. Maybe. <laughs> well, it's not great. I mean, this whole wig isn't great. <laughs> um, I'm pretty tense every day, but um, yeah, I'm trying. I hope you're having a, a better wig than me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying. Okay, so now we're just painting some lines. All right, and because we're going to have some trees, some pine trees to be exact, which I love. I really, really love to paint pine trees. It's so easy. And yeah, they're my favorite type of trees to paint for some reason, um, yeah. I'll be writing an article soon on how to paint trees in oil. And yeah, I'll be showing you the Bob Rose technique actually. That's my favorite for, for painting pine trees. He makes it look so ridiculously easy as well. And yeah, I love it. Okay, cool. So I just grabbed my angle brush. And the reason I grabbed this brush is because I can easily paint lines, but also give a little bit of texture. Because that's what we are looking for here when we're painting the pine trees. We want some texture. Trays have texture, so that's what we're looking for. Also, another brush I like to use for this job is an oval brush. But where is it? it must be here. Oh, there it is. So, this is the oval brush before we use the angled. Okay, the oval brush is like fuller, so it gives you like wider brush strokes. And 
and it can help us, you know, with the illusion that the tree is a bit fuller, you know. Let's also try this out. Yeah, it looks really good. I think I prefer how it looks with the oval brush, but you know, there are some different types of pine trees. Some are fuller, some are not that much. So yeah. The angled brush gives you a different effect and the oval brush gives you another effect of a tree that is like fuller. Which we like as well. So I'm just using a little bit of this lamp. Black because we want to create a little bit of um with the depth, you know. All right. Yeah, you definitely uh use this. A uh, zero filbert brush for the pine trees. So easy to do. So at the top it's like thinner and as we move down the bottom the tree is like thicker. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Okay, we got one more. It's so very relaxing and quick and easy. Uh, once you get it right once, I mean, you'll be doing this so fast it's very very easy to do i mean i started there at the top you see with a line and then several lines and you just have to say get the shape right you know that it's uh, thinner on the top like you said and fuller down the bottom so yeah it's so easy amazing I really love now that I usually fast so much and think so much about um, the result. Um, but not right now, and I feel good about it. So good about that. Okay, and now um, I think this is the, like the favorite part of the painting now. And we got to paint like the water of the lake and some reflections. Okay, so 
Yeah, the water would be like colorful, a little bit rainbow. Beautiful. Really getting on the watercolor effect. Okay. So yeah, I think it looks beautiful so far. I don't know if you can see like the hole. Like, all right, to the bottom. Okay, so we got like the, oops, the general idea there. All right, cool. Uh, but you know, should shape it up a little bit. Yeah, it's funny, I didn't really want to work on the details, but um, yeah, I always pass better. Okay. So now we're getting, you know, some some reflections here. All right, so yeah, that was it. Maybe um, what I'll be doing is take my oval brush again and go over a little bit some details of the tree, just to give a little bit more, more texture. All right, yeah, I think that will, that will help. 
Okay, just adding a few darker brush strokes here and there, yeah. All right. And yeah, that was it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it and thought it was saving and give it a try. Thank you very much. Goodbye, guys.